Hi, I'm Renee Ebert with another fun story. We are going to do Pumpkin Cat by Ann Mortimer. And the, why we like this story so much is it's about pumpkin planting and two friends, a mouse and a cat, that garden together. And that's what's fun about gardening, is doing the gardening project with a friend or a mom or dad or grandma and grandpa. And maybe one of you even had the chance to plant your own pumpkin patch or even a few pumpkins this summer in your yard and garden. So we're gonna share a pumpkin cat with you. And in order to do that, you're gonna have to pretend to be pumpkin cat with me. So I'm gonna put on my cat ears and we're gonna pretend together. One morning in May, the cat wondered, Meow, how do pumpkins grow? I know, said Mouse, and I will show you how. The cat looks very curious. Fun in the garden. Cat found some flower pots. Meow, what now? asked Cat. Time to add the soil, said Mouse. So they did. To a pot just like Cat and Mouse did. Cat made holes in the soil with her paws. Should we do that together? Make three holes for three pumpkin seeds. We count one, two, three. And let's ask again with Cat. What now? asked Cat. Time to plant the pumpkin seeds, said Mouse. So they did. They planted them right in the soil. As we know, pumpkins or any plants can't grow without good soil. Very important for our gardens or pots. Mouse found a watering can. Should we ask with Cat again? Meow! What now? asked Cat. Time to water the seeds, said Mouse. So they did. You pretend to water them? Make sure you give them good watering after they're planted. They left the pots in a warm, sunny spot. Ten days later, two green leaves appeared in each pot. And Cat said, should we say it again? Yeah. What now? asked Cat. Time to plant the seedlings outside, said Mouse. So they did. And we here at Ebert's call that transplanting. So you take what you started and then you put it in a bigger container or in the ground, of course, if it's pumpkins. That's what's best. In a few weeks, there were lots of big prickly leaves and big yellow papery flowers covered in pollen. Lots of bees came and buzzed between the flowers. And Cat asked again, should we ask again? Meow. What now? asked Cat. We just watch, said Mouse. So they did. That's part of gardening too, isn't it? Being patient and waiting for things to grow. By midsummer, each plant had a fuzzy little green pumpkin. Quack, 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 called some big crows. What now, meow, asked Cat again. We need to make a scarecrow, said Mouse. So they did. Scarecrows, of course, are there to scare the birds away so that our pumpkin crops or corn crops can grow. By October, the pumpkins were very big and very orange. Should we ask with Cat again? Meow! What now? asked Cat. Time to pick our pumpkin, said Mouse. So they did. That's the fun part. Should we try to pretend to pick one up? Now, said Mouse, I am going to make you a surprise. Oh my goodness, I think I know what it's going to be, do you? Happy Halloween! He made up Jack-o'-lantern just for Pumpkin Cat. Thank you for listening today to our story about Pumpkin Cat, two friends, Mouse and Cat, in the garden. 